Well, hello everyone and welcome. Wednesday and by golly, uh, it's uh, two or three o'clock here. I don't know which my electric went off the other day and uh, we don't have a clock. Matter of fact, that was Sunday. It stayed off for two hours, believe it or not. And uh, the bad thing is, I think it's messed up my refrigerator now. My refrigerator's uh, not cool and it's cool and I cut it off and cut it back on. Somebody said to unplug it and plug it up. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we always playing around here and uh, doing lap steel lessons. We in open E. Well, what we gonna do today, we, we gonna play something nice and easy now. Also, you may hear thunder roaring in the background on the video because we got a heavy thunderstorm moving just south of us and boy I wish I could grab some of that rain and pull it over here. I don't know if it'll happen. It's dark and windy outside but according to the weather map on uh, the weather uh, page it's going south of me because we live on the north side of the county here. Alright, so we're going to be playing in the key of A today at the 5th fret, and I'm going to be starting way up there at the G at the 3rd fret, so I'll go 3, 4, 5. And we're going to play something nice and easy, and then we're going to use some bar tricks when we tilt up our bar. That. So we're going to start three, four, five, and slide back. Then we got to go from an A to a D at the 10th fret, and we're going to pause at the number seven and number nine. We're not going to strike it, we're just going to pause it. So what I did right there with that D, I went down to the 9th fret, 10, 9, then up to the 12th. Skip strings, I'm hitting strings 2 and 3. Then I come over strings 3 and 4. So I uh, was in D and went to the G, which I don't need to. I need to go back to the E, so, uh, show. Like. And now, instead of going to the E, can go to 12, but what I'm going to do is cut it off and go up here and then I'm going to raise my bar up, putting that bar on the first string. So, I'm going to raise across three strings like that. See how I did it.
little pause. Hit that string and slide back. Then I like to give it a Finish off with that last string. Bouncing across strings two and three. Then go. So learn how to play it smooth. And that's on the fifth fret, second string. Third, two, back to your A and give it and you can take it like that Right there was an A, and then I went to a B, then to an E. That's your build up to go to your uh, next chord there.
another simple little tune, but it uh, gives you used to playing. from an A back and forth on strings two and four then B at seven three. I'm getting choked up. Sorry about that. Got my got sinus infection going on. Estimate. Uh, anybody can learn it if you got the willpower to learn. Now, uh, it, it does take studies, and most people that don't learn an instrument that really want to play it, most of them just give up too soon. Let me tell you, there's nothing in the world that you can't accomplish if you keep doing it over and over and over. That was me. I didn't know nothing about lap steel. I come from playing guitar and piano. I didn't know music theory, which was a big help. But as far as lap steel, the first time I played it, I just made a mess like... Well, that even sounded good. Anyway, you, you just see that don't really go together. That's an A to a F, but I can make it work. By You can make music from most any. Now, keep in mind, don't play in between the frets. Right. Go on and get you a full chord at the top. Put your bar right over that little fret. Or a cut mark. Whatever you got that's marking your frets. Thank you. 
you gotta do? You already got an open chord of E. And you can play your A next. Then go to your B. Sit right here for hours and hours and play. things you've accomplished so far in life that you didn't give up on. Well, music should be one of those things that you keep on working with and enjoy. Play your lap steel, get your guitars out, get your keyboard out, record a track, play along with it. You never know what you come up with. Someday somebody might write you an email, say, hey, I like that tune. Can we use that tune on one of our commercials? And I said, well, I reckon go ahead. And then they said, well, we got to get a written uh, a copyright authorization that you releasing copyrights to us. Now, this actually happened to me. And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, this is some kind of big old scam here. But I'm like, what the heck? It was a little old song I created on the, uh, actually, I used the pedal, gear, pedal steel to do it. And anyway. So they wrote, I wrote them back and uh, didn't never hear from them. And by God, I went to the mailbox one day and there was a check for $5,000 from the Old Spice company or the company that does commercials. What wasn't Old Spice, but it's the company that does their, and it was from the music director department, said, Thanks for your music. We've using it on the air now, and uh, they had it on TV and on the radio. And then uh, I got five thousand dollars just out of thin air by playing a little tune on steel guitar. It wasn't no certain tune. It wasn't nobody's tune. It was just one I liked, like we was doing a while ago with this, you know. <laughs> Yeah. 
up in Washington State. And uh, anyway, they did mail me a check and I got it. Well, I didn't think no more about it. We didn't deposit it and it was good. I wasn't even sure about that part. I said, well, I'm not going to touch this $5,000 or go run and spend it or whatever. I'm going to let it sit there a few months and see if the egg hatches, as I would say. Because uh, I have had a check that come in and I deposited it. And then it was four weeks later the bank wrote me a letter and said the check you deposited is no good. And for it was $1,000 or so, but it wasn't no good check, but they didn't know it immediately. It took them two or three weeks to figure that out. Now, I don't know how that happens, because I know I could go buy something at the store with my uh, debit card and immediately it's removed from my account. But now I have bought stuff from Home Depot with, with the credit card, and doggone it wasn't the right part, and I take it back, they put the money back on your card. But do you know you don't get that money for a week or two? And But when you buy it, they get your money right then and there. But they get to use your money free for two weeks to draw interest off or whatever. I, I ain't figured that out. That, that needs to stop. Shame on you, Home Depot, for doing that. But anyway, to make a long story short, I always make a short story long, though, and y'all know that. But about a, I'm going to say near about a year later, <coughs> I got another $5,000 check from the same company and they said we gonna be uh, using your music now we need you to sign this contract they sent me another contract with copyright releases and they said we need you to sign that and email it you know I copied it and I signed it copied it and emailed it to their email address and uh, anyway they used my music in Canada and uh, over in England and London, and well, you know, over in Great Britain and over in England, and uh, I don't know, maybe a few other places, but I got paid twice. So that's why I say enjoy your music and don't be surprised if somebody offers you uh, pay. Uh, with, now with all this digital music that people are making with these here uh, programs like Pro Tools and uh, Band in a Box, which I have. Uh, the music sounds crappy and digital to me on it, though. Uh, it's not like the real thing. It's, you can't get this out of Band in a Box. <laughs> No way to get that sound. I can guarantee you because I've tried it. It's got a steel guitar in there. It don't even sound like a steel guitar to me. I got a steel guitar in my keyboard and it'll even let you work the pedals and bend the notes to go from one chord to a four chord, but it don't sound like a steel like the real thing. There's nothing like the real thing. But get out and play a lap steel and learn to play it when you go camping. Grab your Dobro and take with it. Or do like I did, buy you one of them little tiny portable uh, boss, I believe it is. Now, anyway, I got a little battery operated amp that really sounds great. I got a demonstration on it on here. I think it's a Roland. I'm pretty sure it's a Roland amp. But uh, it's called a Roland Street something. But anyway, it's a great little amp. You can even plug a microphone and sing to it. I hope. Each and every one of you folks have a great week out there, and uh, <clears throat> I hope everything's going well for you. I've got to, uh, I fished all night, and that's why I'm doing this video late. I went off with my brother and a friend at the Power Dam, and we fished. We got home about 1 or 2 o'clock, so I, I didn't get up early at all this morning, but I, well, I got to take my wife to the hospital in the morning to do some check. And I got to have her there at 7 o'clock short because they're going to do gallbladder. She, they think she's having gallbladder trouble because she's having pain in her stomach and side. So we don't know. We'll find out. Y'all keep her in your prayers. Thanks for stopping by and have a great week out there and play some music, you all.